on everybody we are back here today and we're gonna be going over the uh, gold rush tier uh, 13 challenge uh, it's just recently uh, entered into the game here and uh, before we jump into the, the gameplay here uh, we're gonna take a look at my roster that we're gonna run with uh, the team that I did this with so um, we've got vulture there uh, obvious reasons because uh, he's six reds and he's also tier 14 and uh, these new set of challenges uh, you definitely want the best you know your highest tier characters and just luckily for me i had this guy geared up for dark dimension 3 so that's the reason why i'm using him and then i left out on the six red there and then you guys will see that i do have uh, uh most of his abilities t for as well and he's level 75 six reds next is uh symbiote and uh i've got him max as well here because uh we needed him for dark dimension 3 and as you can see i've pretty much got everything equipped on this guy haven't put any of the iso 8s yet but uh uh, still experimenting uh, with that and I haven't really I didn't want to mess around too much I want to save the uh, the ISO 8s until I had a better grasp uh, We've also got carnage you need to have carnage um, in this specific challenge He's gonna be getting fed a lot of speed and uh, specifically his passive uh, It's gonna be allowing that speed bar to be filled up uh, whenever there's uh there's someone that drops below that 25% health so him and symbiote are pretty much uh, 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 sure, you'll need them for sure. Vulture is more of an optional, but you'll definitely need Symbiote and uh, for sure Carnage. Uh, Venom and uh, Scream now that uh, you can unlock her through her event. They'll probably be good additions as well with that speed increase. But in this case, I actually have Punisher in this one just because uh, he's, you know, he's tier 14 and uh, it's level 75 and uh, haven't really much got the T4s on him. I uh, actually do have one skill T4 and this was actually a mistake. I actually accidentally hit this when I was like, I have no idea how this happened, but I just, I just geared it up when I was, uh, I think I was lulling, leveling him too fast, and then I, I mispressed the button, so that's kind of why I got his first ability there. And then we've got Ghost Rider there. Uh, he can heal just like the uh, symbiotes with his uh, ult, and then also if they do drop, he does his passive. Uh, his passive hit there where he does the uh, you know he gets the ability and the energy and he also attacks the uh, the person that killed his uh, his ally so that's really nice there and again t14 um, haven't really put any t4s into him because just haven't felt the need to been saving those off but that's the lineup there and uh, let's jump into the challenges all right so we are in the challenges here and uh, it is Thursday and uh, as you guys will see there too they've also updated the uh, infographics too in the game so that looks actually pretty sweet and now uh, we we it's Thursday we got the gold rush and the medical supply today and as you guys will see there uh, we've got tier 13 requiring level 75 um, tier 14 five four reds or something like that and then as you guys will see there that's the lineup we were just talking about and you'll see the little orange rings because they're all t14 and ready to go so that's the team we're gonna go with guys don't really know if this matters but uh, I got symbiote and uh, carnage and Ghost Rider all together kind of bunched up and then I have Punisher and Vulture on the far end there so as they chain attack then at least they're a far end there but it really doesn't matter because they can start with no taunter on this team uh doesn't really matter where the positioning is but I just kind of messed around with it and I kind of just I think this was my first or my second attempt when I jumped into this and then uh I realized halfway through the node I was like oh I sh this is actually pretty easy so um then I exited it out and uh anyhow First attack, you want to do the slow and the bleeds. That's going to help get some uh, conditions going there. And then with Carnage, uh, you want to start spreading the conditions, or you can choose the ultimate as well, but we're just going to spread. And uh, we're focusing on uh, that little bunch there. Symbiote's going to spread the bleeds and everything. And uh, you want to really watch out for Symbiote. So we want to make sure we can take care of him when we get a chance here. Uh, once he stuns, it's going to be an issue there. So we'll take care of uh, the stragglers there and uh, we do have vultures ultimate now ready to go so we're going to use that reduce the speed bar and that's kind of where it's really nice to have vulture on this team because when there's a kill his speed actually gets filled as well here and i found that really really effective in dark dimension 3 so this is the team that i was using to complete uh, both runs of dark dimension 3 and uh, it worked pretty good um, mainly with uh, obviously symbiote and carnage being the backbone to that team and then when they get the kills it just kind of helped fed uh, Vulture. And then Ghost Rider was there just to uh, kind of clean up the sloppiness. And uh, he was able to ult and gain energy as well. So as you guys will see there, pretty um, pretty straightforward. Uh, Punisher making that first ability IT for it 
working out there with the extra hit there and the damage. And uh, yeah, so this, this one I should have actually left. I, I could have left Loki live there and he could have just summoned some more minions. And then it helps feed that speed bar as well. But uh, uh, you guys will see there that I do actually end up killing him. And we're gonna stun. Uh, we're gonna stun Black Bolt because we don't want him ulting us or uh, hitting his. He's got the highest DPS out of these these batch of guys. So we want to make sure we can focus him, and we'll focus on Heimdall. He's got the defense down, and we'll save Symbiote special. But as you guys will see here, because he is T14 and five reds, uh, he is pretty good. His damage is pretty sufficient, and I've got everything else T4 as well. And I didn't have anything ISO 8 as well, as you guys saw. So, I mean, definitely for sure. I mean, uh, if you're struggling, it'd probably be a way to help out. But uh, this was actually the team I used to T12, the um, or Tier 12, the previous gold challenge as well. So, th these guys are pretty these guys are pretty flexible in that manner. Um, and then the last wave that just brings on Emma, which isn't bad. But you want to make sure you can get rid of Magneto. Because uh, if we don't, then he ends up getting to his turn. And then he just ults. And then everyone's blinded. So that's not very nice. And again, you see Vulture's big ult coming through, lowering that speed bar. And then he's getting filled up with all the kills. We're going to bleed some more there. We're probably going to stun Symbi ult there because he's our biggest threat there. Emma's not a problem. Got the extra slow too from Vulture. That also really helps out. So I find that he pairs really nice with the Spider-Verse characters if you don't have Venom or uh, Scream in there. But um, ultimately, uh, that's uh, it's a pretty nice pairing there. And everyone will bleed and die out. So there you guys have it there. So pretty cut and easy. I'm gonna run out and see if we can do the other challenge here, the uh, this medical supply. So stay tuned for that one. But there you guys have it. That's Gold Rush Tier 13, and uh, perhaps I will try my luck with 14. Uh, it looks like it's a lot beefier because you do need level 80 characters or something like that. But all right, guys, uh, that's all we got for today. Uh, thank you for watching, and as always, guys, uh, happy gaming.